or to come back to Iran, you know, for me to live through all those years in the 50s and the 60s during the Cold War, when, you know, when we were in, in grade school, you know, back in the late 50s, you know, they used to have us, they'd have us do drills in the schools at the time, right? Yeah. right. Well, yeah. in case of nuclear attack, We'll, we'll get Duck under the there, desk, yeah. or we'll go out and we'll stand in the hallway. If we'll, that doesn't seem we'll futile, I don't know what does. <laughs> you know, and we'll try to protect ourselves from nuclear attack. Right. And so here I am now. What year is this? This is 2009 now, but it was 2008 and 2007. And I got some jerk telling me in our government that Iran is, a, is some kind of a threat to me. And I'm looking around, and I'm going, what? What? Iran? A land of you know, rich history, poetry, uh, educated people. Right. Half of their population under 17 years old, a bunch of kids. And that they, just because that they have a theocracy and because they took over the United States Embassy 30 years ago, that somehow this all translates to that they're my enemy now? Right. I don't think so. And it's so. one of those things where you end up, you end up creating self-fulfilling prophecies. Absolutely. You, you treat somebody like an enemy for so many years, and You've got they've, one. they've got to maneuver around that. Yeah. And yeah. their maneuvers are yeah. going to look like a threat. Yeah. Or like they're trying to be a threat. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, take the whole nuclear thing. Now, obviously, none of us know whether it's really for peaceful nuclear reactors or whether it's really for nuclear weapons. None of the three of us ha no, can I possibly no know. Idea. But it's easy to predict from an outside position that even if it is peaceful, that one, they don't mind us thinking that it's for bombs because that deters us. And two, that That's we're going true. to assume that it's, that it's for bombs because of the adversary relationship we've set, set up. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things where the, the reality doesn't even matter because we've talked, this, you know, the sides have talked ourselves into our respective corners and there's no, there's no middle ground. That's correct.